Straight. When I was with the Dodgers, Lasorda's first year, uh, we won the pennant. And um, the first game, I'm, I pitch in the playoffs. Well, we go like 11 innings or something like that, and we lose. We, we didn't play real well. And um, next day, Lasorda comes in. He is furious. And he's dead. He said, I, I had to go out and get a sports psychologist for you guys. Oh, Bob, we go, oh, God, this is going to be. So the door opens and in walks Don Rickles. Okay, fellas, the problem with this team is we've been too serious. Now we're going to have to do something different. So I decided to get this club loose. I'm going to hire an entertainment coach. And the fellow that I've hired is going to make you guys relax. Here's our new entertainment coach, Don Rickles. <laughs> it's all in a jog. Uh, Tubbs, would you get down the end? <laughs> Amigo, Sagrado Are, Saye, Castan, Masaya Marera. Which means I definitely feel, Pedro, you should go back to your homeland and become a general. Now, Pedro, I know you a lot of years, and I watched you play. You're a great ball player. Problem is, the wife don't buy it. Now, I met the wife, you got a lot of money, but how long are you going to make the woman clean hotel rooms? <laughs> you got to let her get out in the ballpark. You got to live and enjoy a little bit. You know what I mean, Pedro? You're a good amigo. How old are you now? 29. Mente He was in this country 38 years, he's still talking Spanish. I want you to know 29. something. Huh? I'm 29. 29? Good, 29. You just won the lottery. You won two weeks in Acapulco. <laughs> but you're a good man, and have another great year. Finish the season. <laughs> Isn't this fun, huh? <laughs> Wait to see the money we pay you. <laughs> now, Bill, this is Bill Russell, one of the great, the dean of baseball. You're 38 now, right, Bill? Right. That's right. The only ball player in the locker room gets oiled. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Bill, you come from Oxbow or someplace like that in Oklahoma, just sit around watching crickets die. So this guy, Bill Russell, one of the great ball players, 38 years old, spitting up as he goes for a grounder. It's all over, Bill. Go back to Oxbow and play around with a farmhouse. Thanks, Don. I needed that. <laughs> Good. I'll do the funny stuff. Make another remark like that, and you're going to wind up in a Dominion Republic in front of a wall. <laughs> Hello, Bill. How are you? <laughs> Friendly colored guy, <laughs> but I want you to know this. Col colored guy means great man. Okay, thank anyway, you. Anyway, never mind. Touch me, now I'll get sick. I'll tell you this, though, Bill. You're a marvelous, marvelous ball player. You got out of Pittsburgh just in time. Thank you. Because the steel workers were starting to grin at you. <laughs> you're a wonderful ball player. You play third base terrific. Dave Anderson, the wonderful filling guy, keeps sitting up in the stands with a rifle trying to pick you off. <laughs> so I don't think you're going to finish the season, Bill, but I want to wish you a lot of luck. You and Bill Russell can hang up at the actor's home and just sit on the porch going, we were big ones, we were big ones. <laughs> right next to you. <laughs> Again, you touch me. <laughs> it's murder. He thinks he's on a train and he's going to make up my bunk. Anyway, you're a great guy. <laughs> This is Steve Sachs. Uh, as you all know, Steve has a problem. <laughs> He's been smiling at a lot of guys in the locker room. <laughs> anyway, Steve, we know your problems, but you're a wonderful youngster. He's the only guy when I first met him said, want to see my bubble gum? <laughs> anyway, uh, Bill, uh, Steve, uh, I didn't even, I forgot yeah. your name already. Steve, oh, I, Steve. I, I, shut up, I'll tell you what I want. <laughs> Still locked yourself in the bathroom with the radio on loud? <laughs> He's a marvelous kid. <laughs> Sits around in the dugout playing with his jock on <laughs> He's a great kid. I wish you another big year. Finish Thank the you. season, and you're going to be back in San Antonio where you belong. <laughs> Just sitting around watching ducks die. God bless. You're okay. Tom, I'm a friend. Keep this up. You should get a massive one by Friday. <laughs> it. <laughs> I've seen a lot of Italians, but this is the best. This man gets up in the morning, his wife puts a cord on his ass and makes him a blimp. <laughs> I want you to know this, Tom. You're a great manager, and he's my dear friend. He teaches these guys every day where America is. And I want you to know this, Tom, you're making a ton of money. And I like your life. Oh. 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 He opened his mouth! He goes for a half an hour, 40 minutes, and jokes telling, he couldn't tell him in Vegas even. That's how bad. Oh, my. Oh, my. They were they were horrible. I mean, oh my goodness. horrible. But he was going on, and guys were laughing. So we get done, and I'm sitting there going, oh, "Okay, all right." 
uh, we've laughed. We forgot about the bad game yesterday. We right. go out. That was Lasorda. He wasn't. He wasn't a genius, but he knew how to make guys win. Right. Okay. Well, we're back here at Veteran Stadium, and in between innings, Tommy, he's out there as a Philly fanatic, as a stuffed mannequin of a Dodger, and Tommy trying to get that fanatic close. You see the physique of the <laughs> of the mannequin. Tommy's a little bit hot, I think, as he's going to move that over and now. Look at him go. Now he. <laughs> He says, you don't make fun of me or my ball club. <laughs>